Today, we're booking the ultimate intergender war games match in WWE 2K23. Lita will be kicking off thanks for her team, which consists of Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, and Liv Morgan. They'll be taking on the team of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, and Roman Reigns. The bell rings and the two Attitude Era stars start things off for their teams with Stone Cold Steve Austin immediately taking down Lita. It doesn't seem like she can catch her breath in this match as she's just getting thrown around by Steve. But help is on the way because the women's team have the advantage in this match. And with just five seconds to go, her partner, Becky Lynch, will be entering the ring to help her out. Becky decides she's going to try a new tactic in the ring and get Steve's attention by just standing in one spot. And it seems to have somehow worked as Lita reverses Steve's attack and is able to land a shot on the side of the head. She hits Steve with a hurricanrana, sending him down to the mat. Then two Russian legs sweeps back to back before sending him across to the second ring while the clock counts down for the second entrant for the men's team in this War Games match. None other than Randy Orton, but this is not just any Randy Orton. This is Randy Orton from 2009, the absolute menace, who just set up a table and threw Lita across the ring, which is just enough to let the men get the upper hand once again for their team. Randy Orton goes for a dive off the top rope but misses, and Becky Lynch looks to scale the cage, it appears, going all the way up to the top while the countdown begins for the next entrant for the women's team, who is going to be Liv Morgan. Becky Lynch looks like she might be going for a dive off the top of the cage, and she does, but misses and is met with a swift boot to the side of the head. But Liv Morgan's here to play hero with not one, not two, but three weapons in the ring, bringing in a table, a stop sign, and a steel chair, and apparently not going to use any one of them. But I guess it doesn't matter because it looks like she's got the upper hand on Stone Cold Steve Austin as she sends him flying into the other ring. Randy Orton's now over there, and Liv Morgan looks to lock in a guillotine submission on Stone Cold Steve Austin as Rey Mysterio makes his way into the War Games cage. This is something I never thought I would see, but it doesn't look like she's got that guillotine quite locked in as Stone Cold punches her in the gut a few times, forcing her to break it as Rey Mysterio plants Lita with a powerful DDT onto the table. Liv Morgan continues to fight back as hard as she can, but the men's team still just has the upper hand as Randy slams Becky down onto the chair. He goes for an RKO, but is countered by Becky and nearly slammed through the table. Rey Mysterio nails Liv Morgan right in the face as the countdown begins for Rhea Ripley to make her entrance into the match and hopefully help the ladies get the upper hand as the men have been dominating. Becky Lynch locks in the disarmor on Randy Orton, but it doesn't matter because War Games is not officially began yet but she can inflict damage on him. Randy Orton pushes Becky off as Stone Cold hits Rhea Ripley with a DDT and now the clock counts down one more time so Roman Reigns can make his way into the War Games cage and the match can officially begin. Roman wastes no time grabbing a steel chair striking Liv Morgan in the back with it once and again sending her straight to the mat and he hits Rhea Ripley with a diving clothesline. Rey Mysterio hits Becky with whatever that is. Lita fights back with a suplex to Rey Mysterio. And now Becky with the DDT to Stone Cold. The ladies have gained a lot of momentum, but Randy Orton catches Liv Morgan with a scoop slam as Rhea Ripley eats a big boot from Roman Reigns. Stone Cold locks in the million dollar dream on Becky Lynch looking for that tap out, but Becky's going to fight out of it. But Randy Orton's going to jump off the top of the cage on the Liv Morgan going for the first pinfall of the match. One, two, and it's broken up. Oh, Lita had a pinfall in too. Ray broke that up. The match continues on as the crowd chants, this is awesome. Rey Mysterio hits whatever this is once again, but this time on Rhea Ripley. Becky Lynch with a manhandle slam to Stone Cold Steve Austin goes for the pin. One, and it's broken up by Randy Orton and Roman Reigns. Liv Morgan gets payback on Roman for those chair shots earlier. Roman goes for a clothesline. Liv dodges, but gets caught by Randy Orton. Kick to the gut, and he's setting up for what appears to be a DDT busting Liv wide open. Lita sets up for a moonsault on Rey Mysterio and connects. That puts her in the perfect position to break up this pinfall by Stone Cold. Randy Orton is not going to give her a break, though, as he pounces on her and starts punching her in the side of the head, not giving her a break. Liv Morgan suffers a pile driver from Stone Cold Steve Austin, while Becky gets suplexed by Randy Orton. The women's team just cannot keep their momentum going. But Bex is still going to try to tap out Rey Mysterio before it gets broken up. Liv Morgan's going to kick out of Stone Cold's pinfall, while Randy Orton DDTs Rhea Ripley. Rey Mysterio grabs Lita for a DDT onto the stop sign, and now we got dual pinfalls by Stone Cold and Rey Mysterio. Rhea Ripley saves Liv from that pinfall, but Ray still got Lita for a two count and a kick out from Lita. Rhea gets whopped by the stop sign of the head and Liv Morgan gets a Stone Cold Stunner. Oh my God, what is happening? Another dual pinfall from Steve and Randy. Rhea kicks out to 
Becky Lynch breaks up the pinfall from Stone Cold. Randy Orton setting up for a punt kick on Rhea Ripley, and he connects right to the side of the head, goes straight for the pinfall. Becky Lynch is being pinned by Stone Cold as well, and a kick out from both ladies at the same time. They're not giving up just yet. And I guess Rhea Ripley has regained consciousness because she's on top of the cage and goes for a dive on Randy Orton, and it connects, of course. Roman's done playing games, though. He knocks out Liv, knocks out Rhea with the stop sign. Stone Cold stunner to Lita. Steve goes for the cover. One. Liv breaks it up. She saves it for her team, and now she breaks up the other pinfall and saves Rhea Ripley from Roman. She takes it to Roman with a punch, grabs him with an STO, takes him down. Goes for the pin on Roman. Oh, my God. Randy Orton's on top of the cage on the other side of the ring. Is he going to jump? What's he going to do? And he hits the world's largest. Oh, my God. The world's largest double axe handle from the top of the cage. Back over the left ring. Rhea, Liv, and Lita quite literally have Roman and Steve Austin on the ropes, putting the momentum back in the corner of the women's team. We are at the point in the War Games match where it could end at any moment. As Roman Reigns stands staggered in the left ring, Lita and Liv Morgan are going to head over into the right side where all the tables and chaos are. Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to follow. Rey Mysterio is going to send Lita back into the left ring with Roman Reigns all by themselves. He's going to pick her up, send her into the corner with an Irish whip, follows it up with a Superman punch, sending Lita staggered. She goes for the clothesline. Roman dodges, hits her with a huge spear right in the middle of the ring, goes straight for the pin. One, two, three. Three, and the women's team didn't even know what was happening as Rey Mysterio, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns win the match for the men's team. The ladies just couldn't get it done this time, but maybe, just maybe in the future, they will get a second chance at redemption and pick up a victory for the women. We'll have to see in the next video where we're going to do an intergender Royal Rumble. So until then, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, like all my other videos, share them with everybody you know and everybody they know. This match was instant classic. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye.